We can all benefit from improving our relationships, whether that be with our family, our co-workers, friends, neighbors, any human relationship around us. So the next time you experience some conflict or tension in a relationship that you care about a lot, try these four mantras to heal that relationship. After these four mantras are said, it's very difficult to stay mad at somebody. Hi guys, this is Linda from Brain Education TV. If this is your first time, welcome! Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below, like this video, and click the bell for notifications of each new episode. In this video, I'm going to talk about four mantras to heal any relationship. Yes, any relationship, romantic relationship, family relationship, friendships, any human to human relationship that needs some healing due to clashes and conflict can be resolved by these four simple mantras. The four mantras are, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, I love you. This four step mantra needs to be said in this specific order for the healing to happen. It was taken from an ancient Hawaiian wisdom called Ho'oponopono. Try saying that four times. Ho'oponopono, 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 Ho'oponopono. And it is said that it was used by village elders when anybody in the village was having conflict with somebody else. So it's a practice that's rooted in ancient Hawaiian tradition that still applies to today because whether it was 5,000 years ago, 10,000 thousand years ago or right now this year we all experience human relationships and we all receive hurt love pain suffering joy happiness all these emotions come from human relationships the first and foremost thing that should be said when there's conflict in a relationship is I'm sorry if that relationship means anything to you if it's a significant one put down your pride put down your ego it hurts to say i'm sorry first but the person that says i'm sorry is the bigger person why i'm sorry because when someone first says i'm sorry it breaks the ice and opens the heart space of you and the other person and from that heart space healing can start so number one thing to say i'm sorry the second mantra to say after I'm sorry is, please forgive me. After I'm sorry, the heart space has been open for communication and dialogue. Now, next thing that should be said is, please forgive me. Whether you intended it or not, or that person too, whether he or she intended it or not, there has been some hurt, some conflict that was thrown between the relationship whether it was the other person's fault he or she started it it doesn't matter there was hurt that was caused by a result of actions and a result of words so for that what needs to be said is please forgive me saying please forgive me eases the tension that's between you two it softens up whatever is creating a barrier a wall of separation between you and that person that was caused by the conflict please forgive me softens that wall and now lifts the barrier for continued healing number three third mantra that should be said after i'm sorry please forgive me is thank you now let's walk through what we just did so far first i'm sorry opens the heart space for communication Next, please forgive me, breaks down the barrier that was caused by the conflict. Now, number three, thank you, now sends an energy of love and gratitude to this person to heal tension, heal that relationship. Why should we be thankful for this person? Because through this conflict, this person showed me something about myself that I still need to work on. This person was a teacher to make me a better person, gave me an opportunity to practice forgiveness and kindness during conflict, which is a very difficult thing to do. It's a very brave thing, but it's a very difficult thing to do. So for giving me this lesson to grow spiritually, grow my mind, grow my maturity, thank you so much for being in my life, for being the person that gave me this conflict that pushed me towards growth. And lastly, fourth mantra, the last one that should be said is, I love you. With thank you, you started sending the energy of love and now with I love you, you place the cherry on the top and really open your heart to this person, sending them love, I love you, to seal the deal of any conflict. Because at the end of the day, the answer is love. 
Love is what heals relationships. Love is what strengthens relationships. So at the end of any conflict, make sure you express your love for this person, how much they mean to you in your life. After these four mantras are said, it's very difficult to stay mad at somebody. So to summarize the four steps, number one, I'm sorry. That opens the heart space for dialogue to happen. Please forgive me. After that dialogue was created, now with please forgive me, you break down the barrier, break down the wall that was causing the tension. Thank you. Sends the energy of love to this person, making them seem like an important person in your life, sending them gratitude. Number four, I love you. Seal the deal with sending them your appreciation, express your love, and how much this person means to you. We can all benefit from improving our relationships, whether that be with our family, our co-workers, friends, neighbors, any human relationship around us. So the next time you experience some conflict or tension in a relationship that you care about a lot, try these four mantras to heal that relationship. I would love to know what you guys think about whole Bono Bono and if you tried it, how it went. So let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are. Thanks for tuning in. See you in another video. Bye.